Ian here with Achieve Integrative Health and today is Thursday. Thursday, we're going to keep on transitioning on the topic. It's like one topic leads to another topic to another topic. And so we started off with neuropathy and that led to diabetes um, because of a patient, you know, and today another patient I want to share with from diabetes, we're gonna to go to weight loss, right? They're actually uh, very um, intertwined, I would say, especially diabetes and weight loss, right? And so uh, we had a patient today that she, it's been, I think, uh, it's about three weeks, I think three weeks on her diet. So three weeks, so we help people lose weight at Achieve Integrative Health, and after three weeks on our um, AIH diet, um, Achieve Integrative Health diet, she lost about seven pounds, one inch off her waist, waist. So that's the results that she got, right? And so when you look at these numbers, you may think, oh man, that's not a lot of weight. Three weeks, that's not a lot of weight, right? Um, and um, you may think, oh, then you know our AIH diet doesn't really work. Well, that's what we're gonna talk about today, right? We're gonna talk about all the different types of diets. I mean, now we're not going to go into detail. We're just gonna go over the, 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 I would say that we're gonna talk about the forest from the trees first. So the forest is, you know, let's come over here. When it comes to weight loss, just the, really the, the question that, you know, I want you to ask yourself is, do you want temporary weight loss or you want permanent weight loss, right? There's, there's all these things that I put under temporary all of these weight loss diets, all these fads, all these new nutrition research, they're all temporary, right? Why? Because they wanna sell you something. They wanna sell you a product, they wanna sell you some shakes, some bars, um, a different way. Um, it, it's like they wanna sell you a way that you can still eat cake and lose weight, which we all know, as much as we believe, we wanna believe that we can eat some donuts, we wanna be able to believe that we can eat donuts and we can still lose weight. But the fact is, you can't, right? And, uh, but that's a side note. So throughout the years, there's been so many different types of diets. Every single year, there's a new type of diet. There's so-called new research that shows, oh, this new diet is the diet for weight loss, right? And just look at the years, look at the results. Why does it change every single year, right? Because they don't work. Now, what I mean by it, they don't create permanent weight loss. They all work. And, we, and, and helping you lose weight temporary, right? So we have, we've heard of the Atkins diet, paleo diet, keto diet, that's the newest thing, keto diet, right? Uh, vegetarian diet, this is Mediterranean, I don't know how to spell it, so I just say Medi, Mediterranean, South Beach, I mean, there's so many more diets, Jenny Craig's, uh, Weight Watchers, there's so many types of diets out there, and they all work. They all can help you lose weight if you follow them. But the key question that I, that I wanted you to ask was, did you want temporary weight loss or you want permanent weight loss, right? These are all temporary. I'm not saying they're bad, I'm just saying they're temporary, right? And so, uh, how do you get permanent weight loss? That's probably the question, right? Well, here's the secret. There is no secret diet. There's no secret diet for permanent weight loss. Okay, sorry, sorry to give you the bad news. Um, but there are ways to have permanent weight loss using some of this, some of these diets, you know, in combination, right? So, but, so really, what is the secret to permanent weight loss? It's not a diet, it's the focus of the diet, if, if, if that makes any sense. So the secret is actually the focus of the diet, okay? What is the focus of the diet, right? Atkins diet, that was you remove all carbs, no carbs, because the focus was carbs make you fat, which isn't true, okay? Paleo diet, similar, it's like a modified, modified version of Atkins diet. It added more vegetables, it added more complex carbs, but it's still, some paleo diets re, you remove some, you know, some vegetables that have, low, have high carbs, right? Um, keto diet. Oh, you gotta eat a lot of healthy fats. Uh, um, and, and so it's because you're not eating fat. And again, low carbs too, right? Vegetarian, oh, it's the meat. 
the animal protein uh, is inflammatory, which it is. Animal protein is inflammatory. Uh, Mediterranean is kind of the balance of vegetarian and paleo, right? Um, South Beach, um, I forgot what that was. But that's their focus, which is, which is what I'm talking about right here. If you want permanent weight loss, it's not about carbs, it's not about fat, it's not about animal protein, it's not about what other this folk these are focusing on. If you want permanent weight loss, here's the here's the solution. You want to focus on organ function. More importantly, restoring organ function. Restoring organ function will give you permanent weight loss, right? So that means sometimes when people, when patients come in, they may, they may be, let's say, on high carb. They, they've been eating like simple carbs. Okay, there's different carbs. Uh, they may be eating a lot of breads, potatoes, uh, rice. You know, a lot of the simple carbs, noodles. And so in that situation, we do want to do something similar to like the paleo diet or the Atkins diet in the sense that we want to decrease those simple carbs, right? Um, now, that's if, you know, if they're doing a lot of simple carbs and it's damaging certain organs. So when you eat a lot of simple carbs, the first organ it damages is your liver, okay? So we need to do, we need to find, if you come in and your liver is not functioning up to par, right? Then we need to choose one of these diets to focus on restoring liver function, okay? So it could be at that time, you know, a little paleo or a little Mediterranean, uh, actually vegetarian would be the best, to help the liver, okay? But as the liver regains, regains function, then you gotta look at what's the next organ that need, you need to help to regain the function, right? And when we get to a point, let's say we restore the, or, the liver function, and we can, and it's good to go. We don't need to do anything. We don't need to, you know, eat more vegetables anymore. No, because our bodies are constantly fluctuating throughout the, throughout the day, right? So just because you fix your liver, it doesn't mean it'll stay fixed forever. It may, you may lose that function. The, the, the liver function may drop again after a month. And then you got to go back on like a vegetarian diet to help the liver, right? And so, my point, hopefully, you can, hopefully I'm making this, I'm simplifying this. The point is to fi find out which organ is functioning and then use the appropriate diet to help fix that organ function. So it's a constant, you know, it is a constant, a little yo-yoing, but instead of yo-yoing like this, you're yo-yoing like this, okay? And so that's just life, and life is like that, unless you live in a bubble, which none of us do, right? So that's how you get permanent weight loss. It's not like you just do one of these diets and you stay on it forever, which nobody ever does, okay? Actually, some people are vegetarians for life. That's still not healthy. Vegetarian in general is one of the, the most healthiest uh, diets out of all of these, but it's still not healthy long term, right? Um, I would say probably Mediterranean is probably one of the mo more healthier ones too. And so, uh, doesn't mean, but long term, sometimes you need, like let's say, you know, a vegetarian's number one concern is iron deficiency. In that situation, you know, you want to go paleo, maybe a little Atkins, you want to get the animal protein to you know, increase that iron temporarily, and then you drop down the animal protein again, right? So there's, my point is there's no fixed secret diet. It's about customization. The customization is to figure out which organ is functioning, and then find the foods that will help restore that function. And once that happens, not only will you lose the weight, it will be permanent. We had another patient that, um, she's been coming to us for actually quite a few, over a year or so, and she, uh, I believe she, she's dropped at least 20 pounds. Um, you know, all of these diets can help you drop 20 pounds, some, some of them really quick. Like the HCG diet can drop 20 pounds probably in two weeks, right? But the problem is when you start eating again, you gain 40 pounds back. Well, this patient has started with us and she's lost, she wanted to lose 20 pounds. Uh, actually, she wanted to lose uh, about 15, and we reached that goal. And then she's like, oh, since I'm losing more, I, well, let's see if we can lose even more. And so she lost you know, about another five pounds. 
And here's the thing. She's been with us. She's lost 20 pounds. And we had the winter storm, right? So winter storm, everybody, you know, the food was, you know, not everybody was prepared. So, you know, food, diet kind of went out the door. And so uh, that was, what, three weeks ago? And so she didn't exercise, didn't eat good. Um, and guess what? Guess how many pounds she gained back, right? Maybe one. Maybe one. Why? Because we use this strategy of permanent weight loss. She has effectively permanently lost 20 pounds. And even though she, because of the winter storm, went off the diet, didn't exercise, barely even gained a pound, right? That's what happens when you focus on organ function to lose weight versus on focusing on the diet to lose weight, okay? All right, I kind of got a little complex. If it doesn't make sense, you got questions, tag, tag me, ask me, and I'll go in more detail. But this is, you know, I was just excited because we have another patient She's, she's lost seven pounds, okay, even though it's been three weeks, but the way that we have our patients lose the weight is permanent, right? And so I just wanted to share that information with you because this information, this information actually is not out in, in mainstream because it doesn't sell, you know? Uh, these sell, and so this doesn't sell, right? And so, but either way, got any questions, let me know, here to help you. This is Jimmy Yen from Achieve Innovative Health. Uh, when you think of acupuncture, you think of the number one acupuncture clinic in Austin, Texas, Achieve Integrative Health. And as always, remember, everything in life is achievable, but it's up to you to make it happen.